ਟੋਰਾਂਟੋ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਸਰਵਿਸਿਜ਼ ਨੇ ਮੰਗਲਵਾਰ ਦੀ ਰਾਤ ਨੂੰ ਟੋਰਾਂਟੋ ਮੈਪਲ ਲੀਵਸ ਫਾਰਵਰਡ ਮਿਚ ਮਾਰਨਰ ਦੇ ਹਥਿਆਰਬੰਦ ਕਾਰਜੇ ਕਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਸ਼ਿਕਾਰ ਹੋਣ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ 'ਚ ਕਾਰਜੇ ਕਿੰਗ ਦੀਆਂ ਘਟਨਾਵਾਂ ਬਾਰੇ ਇੱਕ ਅਪਡੇਟ ਪ੍ਰਦਾਨ ਕੀਤੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਵਿੱਚ 2022 ਦੀ ਸ਼ੁਰੂਆਤ ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਹੁਣ ਤੱਕ 60 ਕਾਰਜਾ ਕਿੰਗ ਦੀਆਂ ਘਟਨਾਵਾਂ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਆਈਆਂ ਨੇ ਜਿਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਸ਼ੱਕੀ ਵਿਅਕਤੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਉੱਚ ਕੀਮਤ ਵਾਲੇ ਵਾਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਨਿਸ਼ਾਨਾ ਬਣਾਇਆ ਜੋ ਲਾਭ ਲਈ ਵੇਚੇ ਗਏ ਸਨ ਸੋਮਵਾਰ ਰਾਤ ਘਟਨਾ ਦੀ ਜਾਂਚ ਜਾਰੀ ਹੈ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਤਿੰਨ ਸ਼ੱਕੀ ਨੇ ਦੋ ਹੈਂਡਗਨ ਅਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਚਾਕੂ ਨਾਲ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਨੇ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਕਿ ਸ਼ੱਕੀ ਵਾਹਨ 'ਚ ਮੌਕੇ ਤੋਂ ਫਰਾਰ ਹੋ ਗਏ I'd like to address the carjacking that took place last evening and while I'll be providing an update uh, on that investigation I want to thank the media for raising awareness on these types of incidents and the Toronto Police Service does not confirm the identity of victims or witnesses. The Hold Up Squad investigates incidents of carjackings where a weapon is used or involved and where the MO fits that of an investigation that's currently underway. To date in 2022, our unit has had 60 carjacking occurrences that we have taken care of. Last year, we had 59 for the entire year. These numbers do not include incidents that do not fall under the mandate of the Hold Up Squad and are investigated by our partners in the divisions uh, throughout Toronto. As I've mentioned before, suspects usually target high-end value, high-value uh, vehicles, and these are nearly always sold for profit. Just today, or late yesterday, sorry, we made a second arrest in a carjacking incident that took place on May 11th, where a victim in their late 70s. Uh, had their Jeep Wrangler uh, stolen at gunpoint. Today we've made over 20 arrests in our carjacking incidents uh, and these 20 people can be linked to multiple occurrences of the 60 that I just mentioned. The most recent incident we're investigating occurred last evening shortly before 8 p.m. and this took place in the area of Islington and the Gardner Expressway where the victims a man and a woman in their 20s were robbed at gunpoint for their vehicle. and that was a land rover that was stolen in this incident. Thankfully the victims were unharmed and we're actively working to establish any links and dedicated investigators trust me when I tell you dedicated investigators are working on this feverishly uh and continue to review any and all evidence that we have so far. I want to assure the public that and I want to assure the public that uniformed officers and plain clothes officers continue to patrol uh hotspot areas citywide and continue to make arrests in these types of incidents. Our unit also works very closely with our divisions who pay special attention to these areas that are vital and they are a vital sorry resource in our investigations. As previously announced, the service also has created a new organized crime investigative support team uh who will be uh mandated to uh target response to emerging crime trends including increase in auto thefts. Approximately 2.3 million dollars has been reallocated from the TPS budget to fund this team which will include investigative roles, roles of different ranks and civilian support roles for this team. I understand these types of crime have a lasting impact on victims which I've mentioned before, uh whether they're physically injured or not, we will continue to identify suspects, charge them and return the vehicles to the rightful owners. I'd like to end on some simple safety tips that can help protect the public uh during these crimes of opportunity. If someone attempts to steal your car, please give it up. Do not resist, do not argue, uh or fight. Uh your safety is worth more than the car. Run to a safe place and call police immediately. Keep doors locked at all time and if you feel threatened, sound your car alarm or call 911. Be aware of your surroundings. Try to park in lit areas 